In the last few videos, we have talked about contact tracks and feedback modules like the S88. And this time, we're going to discuss the circuit track, the Merklin 24994. It's a straight track piece, and it's half the length of a 24188. You can see in the package, you get the circuit track. Of course, you get the instructions. There are also two curved circuit tracks for the R2 and the R1 radius, the 24194 and the 24294, and the instructions and use are the same. Circuit tracks have a small rocker switch in the area of the center rail, and that switch is activated by the pickup shoe on the locomotive, and it sends a pulse back to the feedback module or relay or other switching device. Because it's a rocker switch, these circuit tracks are direction dependent. And that means there are two contacts and each will work in one direction when a locomotive crosses over it. So you're getting two blue contact wires and they simply slide over these contacts of the switch itself. You can see that the switch is grounded to the outer rail of the track and that's the pulse that will be sent to your feedback decoder or relay. One thing that you have to keep in mind when you design your layout with these circuit tracks is that not only a locomotive with a pickup shoe will activate this switch, but cars that have pickup shoes will also activate the switch. You can see here how the rocker switch can move both ways and that the circuit track is direction dependent. That means if you only need it to work in one direction, you simply hook up only one of the two wires. If you need it in both directions, you also hook up the other contact. It comes with the two blue contact wires. And the length of it is half the length of a 24188. So it's exactly the same length as a 24094. And when you click these two together, you get the same length as a 24188. So if you want to place this anywhere on your layout, you simply remove a 24188 and plug this combination of the 24094 and the circuit track in place of the 24188. To connect the contact wires, I find it easier to use needle nose pliers and slide the connector over the pin. In this example, we're going to use both directions of the circuit track. So I'll also connect the other side. And there you see both contact wires connected to the circuit track. Now in the old days, we used to connect these blue wires to a relay or a signal with a solenoid. And now we can connect these directly to our S88 feedback decoder because it will get that grounded signal. But there's a neat trick. We can also connect this to an M84 decoder to the ports on the top side of the decoder. And that's what I will show in this example. So no feedback decoder will be needed. And even though I have a central station here to power up this setup, you could do this with a mobile station. The central station is not needed for this. I will connect one of the contact wires to contact number one. And if you remember from previous videos, if a grounded signal goes to that number one, it will set port number one to red. If I would have connected it to number two, it would have set port number one to green. We could still control the M84 with our digital controller, in this case the central station, and switch port number one to red or green. But now, thanks to this input on that port number one, we can also control the M84 with the circuit track. And as you see, when I activate the circuit track, it'll switch to red. On your layout, you would place a second circuit track 
somewhere else that would set the signal back to green. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use the other pole of this circuit track. Again, on your layout, you would have a second circuit track somewhere else. And that wire to set the signal back to green will go into port number two. It is important to notice that because we are bypassing the central station, we are actually connecting the circuit track directly to our M84. The central station does not realize that our port number one has been set to red. If you do need full integration with the central station, you're gonna to have to run these circuit track wires through an S88 feedback decoder. And then the central station will control the M84. All right, so now we can test it. Again, you would have two circuit tracks, but this direction sets it to green and this direction sets it to red. All we have to do now is create a stop track and add a signal to the setup. Thanks for watching. See you next time.